Hello! So, today I am... Wait. He's back? Yes, believe it or not, after about six months of not bothering to make a proper video, I'm back. Kind of. Now recently, someone on YouTube had been messaging me a lot about how to make a perfect body template for a guitar that they did not own and of course wanted to build themselves. Now for all of my previous projects, I've used guitars that either I or someone I know already owns, so I can simply draw around it onto a piece of card and then cut it out and use that as my template. Now a friend of mine wants me to build him a copy of a Fender Jagstang. Now these guitars are pretty rare in themselves, which means I obviously wouldn't know anyone that would let me draw around theirs, so after failing to find a PDF for the template online, I decided it was about time I learned a proper way to print out my own perfectly sized templates. I found this picture online, and as you can see it looks like the picture has been taken full on. And what I mean by full on is that the picture has been taken at 90 degrees to the camera lens, instead of tilted back in this way or this way. You can kind of assume by the way it looks that it is pretty damn flat to the picture. Of course, if the image had been taken at an angle like this, all of the dimensions in the picture would be wrong, and it would be impossible to use this to make an accurate template. And what I've done is take this picture and copied it, and place it in Adobe InDesign. Now there are quite a few softwares I believe that you can do this on. I found this other website, I'll put all of these in the description, where it shows you the exact width of the neck at the nut position. So that is 1.562 inches. So what I can do now is zoom in on the picture in Adobe InDesign, and then use the measuring tool to measure the exact width of the nut. As you can see that's reading 1.54, which is rather close as you can see to 1.56 so now that measurement is exactly or well close enough to the specifications that means that in this software the complete picture of the guitar is perfectly to scale. So what I've basically just done in the software is taken a picture of a guitar like this and then by using the data sheet for the width of the nut I've sized the image to the perfect scale in the software and what the genius of that is is now I can use the image to print off a template of anything I want. From this whole picture, I could use it to say, print out a rough guide of where all the frets go, use it to print out a pit guard template by just cropping out that bit. Or, for what I want to use it for now, is to print a perfect outline for the body. Okay, so all I've done now is just crop out this top part where we don't need that bit of the neck because it's a body template. Now I'm going to click that, hit copy, and then go into Adobe Photoshop and paste it into there. So now it's in here, obviously I'm only wanting to print the outline and the pit guard, so I don't want to waste all of my printer ink trying to print out all of the colours and detail I definitely don't need. I found the best way to do this was to go into Filters, Photocopy, and then set the detail very low and the darkness very high. After using the black and white effect to stop my printer printing it in blue, I then copied it back across to InDesign, checked for scale was still the same, and then I could start printing it. Here we go. I could print one corner of the guitar, move it across the A4 page and print the other corner, and after doing that four times, I could put them all together and tape them into a full-size image. I have absolutely no idea how well that was explained, so if it didn't make sense, please leave a comment asking me to elaborate. Now all that's left to do is to glue it onto a piece of flat MDF. I'd have preferred to have put some Pritt stick onto the bit of paper, as the PVA will make the image stretch slightly. However, I didn't have any, and this should just work fine. After the glue had dried, I put it up on my bandsaw and cut as close to the line as I could. There we have the guitar after I finished cutting it out, and it's actually starting to look pretty good. So to finish it off, I've got a 40 grit flap wheel which you put in your drill and use it like a little bobbin sander. Well I've tried to pull the paper off, obviously it's stuck down in places, it's not an issue, I'll just route it upside down and ooh, have a nice flat surface to route on. To get into the tight curves, I even use a small sander. And to finish it off, all I do is take a sanding block, this is just 40 grit because that's what's on there, then I'm going to run it along the edge of the body trying to keep it square to the side, so that means not rocking it either that way or that way. And that's basically just going to take off the high spots made by the round sanding where it'll only touch one small part at a time. So now this is my finished master template for a Fender Jag Stang guitar. <laughs>